Talking Tile, the Ontario Farm Drainage Series, is brought to you by the Land Improvement Contractors of Ontario. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to Talking Tile. On this episode, we're going to talk about why it's so important for farmers to think about sufficient outlet when they're tiling their fields. I'm here at a municipal drain construction project in North Perth, Ontario with Sid Vanderveen from the Land Improvement Contractors of Ontario. We're going to talk about outlets for tile drainage systems, including who should clean them out and why it's important to look upstream, downstream, and be a good neighbor. Now, Sid, when farmers are planning to tile a field, where do they need to start? So many pro farmers start with a wrong direction, that is call up a tile drainage contractor and get the equipment out there. Where they need to start is sufficient outlet. They, they need to make sure that they have a place where they can discharge their, their tile drainage system. So it's not a case of getting the contractor and installing it. It's a case of putting that tile into a place where it's going to discharge safely. If you don't have your outlet, it's like building a farm laneway that leads nowhere. Kind of pointless. When we talk about municipal drainage, the conversation always, you know, includes that discussion of sufficient outlet. You know, what does that mean and why is it important? Well, first of all, outlet. Outlet is the place where your tile drainage system would actually discharge. So it's the place where it leaves your land. There's two aspects to sufficient outlet. The first one is the capacity issue. Does the place where you're planning to discharge your tile drainage system actually have the capacity to handle the flows? So for example, if you're planning to put in an eight inch main and you're gonna connect it to a four inch lateral, it's not a sufficient outlet. So there's the practical, physical aspect of sufficient outlet. And then the second part is, is it legal? Yeah. Now talk about that. Is it legal? Does everyone have the right, you know, to drain their property? Yeah, there is a, there is a common misconception amongst farmers, actually not just farmers, amongst a lot of property owners that my land has the right to drain and they're wrong. There are only certain property owners that have the right to drain and that is landowners abutting the natural water course or if you have a municipal drain on your property or if you may have a mutual agreement drain that, uh, that is a shared agreement. Otherwise, properties do not have the right of drainage and people have to acquire that sufficient outlet. And there's two different ways of acquiring a sufficient outlet. One is a municipal drain and the other one is a mutual agreement drain. Hey, now, before we get into more details, let's talk about the Drainage Act. You know, it really makes all this happen. It's a pretty incredible piece of legislation that pulls everything together. The, without a doubt, the Drainage Act is a powerful piece of legislation, but we live in a province that has been blessed with an abundance of water, which is a great thing, but we have to deal with the drainage. And the legislature quickly figured out that we need some sort of a vehicle, some sort of a mechanism whereby property owners, including farmers, can acquire a sufficient outlet for their drainage. And so they passed the Drainage Act. And if you have a drainage issue and um, need an outlet, you can petition your local municipality for a solution. And the municipality will appoint an engineer who will do a design prepare a report, including cost sharing amongst the property owners, and, um, and we'll wrap that all up in a report. Landowners can challenge that uh, through a various different appeal bodies, but at the end of the process, there is a municipal bylaw that's passed adopting that report. And with the passage of that bylaw, the municipality acquires the right of entry onto land in order to construct the drain and the ability to um, assess the costs out to the property owners in the watershed of the drain. You know, municipal drains are infrastructure and, you know, but what happens when they get blocked? You know, can farmers and contractors just clean them out? Keep in mind, municipal drains are municipal infrastructure. They are in, in many ways, similar to municipal roads. It's a, it's a municipal responsibility. So keep that in mind, first of all. Second, keep in mind that there are environmental regulations that municipalities have to get before they perform any work. And there's also the specifications for the drain itself. 
So short answer is no. Property owners should not be maintaining or removing blockages and that sort of thing from a municipal drain. They should be contacting their local municipality. And the beauty of the Drainage Act is it has a system set up whereby you can contact the municipality and they will send out your dra their drainage superintendent to maintain and repair the municipal drain. They'll obtain any necessary permits and approvals and they'll distribute the costs, share it amongst the property owners, and they will apply to the Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs for the grants that are available under the Drainage Act. So there's, there's a, advantages to going through your municipality rather than doing it on your own. Final question, Sid. Any tips for farmers on how they can best connect to their municipal drainage system? It is so important to remember that municipal drains are shared systems. I often refer to them as communal systems. They're managed by the municipality, but really they're co-owned by all the property owners in the watershed of the drain. So when you're looking at your municipal drain, there are things that you can do to protect and, uh, and extend the life of your municipal drain. For example, Keeping a buffer between the top of the bank of the uh, of the drainage system and your uh, cropping practices, um, making sure that you don't have uh, items entering into the drain and blocking it, uh, making sure that you aren't um, directing any pollutants into the municipal drain, uh, making sure that what the practices, your agricultural practices, are going to extend the life of your your drain, not. Um, damage it in or in the short term. If you treat your municipal drain properly, it will provide good drainage for you with minimal maintenance for many years. Great stuff, Sid. Hey, I um, appreciate you taking some time for Talk and Talk. Thank you. <laughs>